Glenn Sayer here with Zebra Technologies. Today, I want to give you a better introduction of our Network Connect scanning product. Zebra set out to design and build an interface box to allow our DS3600 scanners to connect directly to a PLC. The EA3600 is that interface box. It allows you to do point-to-point -point or multi-point connectivity of seven wireless scanners connected at a time. The EA3600 supports 12 volts, 24 volts, or there is an external power supply or can have PoE via third-party product. Is DIN realm mountable? Supports Ethernet IP, Modbus, Profinet, and TCP IP. Can also support our R6000 ring scanner via the wireless cradle. And we also give you the ability to control the scanner, the LEDs, the sound, and the vibrator. When purchasing the A3600, a few things to note. It is a class 5 product. What that means is it takes a special skills to sell it. Uh, that skill is the connectivity up to a PLC, so not all Zebra partners will be able to sell that product. The E3600 is sold in kits, except for the TCP IP model. What that means is that to purchase an E3600, you must also purchase a DS scanner. The E3600 does support three different protocols and comes in three different models. Uh, the 3600R is an Ethernet and Modbus together. The EA 3600S is Profinet or Siemens, and the 3600T is TCP IP or Ethernet. Another indication on the part number to be aware of is the P is for point-to-point -point and M is for multi-point. Uh, the multi-point is only supported in the what with the wireless cradle and can support up to seven scanners. A couple things you do lose with that is the action codes are not supported. That is the control of the scanner, the lights, and uh, the sound. And that's also the model that's required to do the R6000 R6, scanner. All DS3600 scanners can be kitted with the EEA, uh, but not all might be available. Uh, if you need a special request, uh, please get a hold of your Zebra sales engineer and they can help you with that. A few things that you need to do to get it working uh, with your PLC is there's uh, a configuration for the EEA3600 that needs to be done. Uh, scanner configuration, uh, a lot of that is just getting the scanner and the cradles up to the latest firmware. And then to download the AOP into the, your Studio 5000 and then configure the module for that connectivity. For the A3600, a couple of things that you're going to want to do is download the Zebra Industrial Ethernet Configuration Utility. Uh, this utility is used to load the firmware into the A3600, configure the IP address or the connectivity into your network, and also allows you, gives you the ability to make sure that the EA3600 is talking on your network. Uh, some other things that you might want to download is the developer files, it gives you good documentation, some sample code. The AOPs are also available on the internet. Uh, you also want to make sure that you ground, download the latest EA3600 firmware. Make sure you get the right one for the type of device you got, whether it's a Siemens, Rockwell, or TCP IP. And then also just grab the EA3600 program reference guide for information on how to uh, we're going to go through in a later video on how to control the scanner. For the scanner, uh, we have a product called 123Scan2 is the latest one that's available. Uh, this is the software that you'd go download to upgrade the firmware on your scanner and cradle to make sure they're at the latest version so that the supports network connect. Uh, just as a note, uh, there is a special cable that is required to do connectivity from the DS3600 scanner to the EA3600. Uh, that's noted below. Uh, what that means is that it does come part of the kit, but if you take another scanner with a different cable, it might not work. Thanks for watching, and for more information, you can go to zebra.com, do a search for EA3600 or Network Connect, and it should provide more information on this product. Thank you.